Hi there, Simon from simonwood.com. Uh, I have a couple of uh, Pinot Noirs here, um, both from the same country, uh, Chile, both from the same region, the Aconcagua Valley and the coastal bit thereof, both from the same winery, Erasmus. So what's the difference between them? Um, well, I think one's entry level, if you want to call it that. One's a little bit more ambitious. Let's see whether that's, uh, let's see how they both taste. First one is 2014 uh, Erasmus uh, Estate Series Pinot Noir. Um, and um, let's just give it a whirl. Well, I stick my nose in there, and um, there is this gentle, soft, warm fruit, uh, plummy berry, plummy red berry. Uh, there's a juiciness. It feels like there's, a, there's going to be a little bit of velvety silkiness, but there's also a touch of reduction here, which is a problem I have uh, uh, with quite a lot of. Uh, uh, of, uh, of Chilean wines. You always feel like the winemaker should have, maybe they've been a little bit too careful with it and have liked a little bit of air to get into that uh, that fermentation to blow off some of those slightly awkward, ever so slightly rubbery characters that are there now. It may be that as the wine warms up in the glass, those will dissipate. So I'll give it more swirling and then I'll have a taste. Yeah, there's quite nice fruit there. There's this juiciness and quite a bit of um, texture to it. Doesn't feel like anything's gone overripe um, or underripe, but then there's this edge of reduction that uh, uh, just dampens down the pleasure, and uh, it feels uh, it leaves you with a finish that's ever so slightly hard. It's okay, and uh, it may be that as it opens up, um, it will it will blossom, but at the moment, it's just a bit uh, it's a bit tight, it's a bit elbows. Let's see whether the next one is a uh, step up. Uh, so this uh, says on the front, Aconcagua Costa, coastal Aconcagua, uh, Pinot Noir, um, and um, what does it say anything about 10 months in, in French oak. Uh, but same vintage, same alcohol. First one uh, was 13 and a half. This one's only 13. Let's give this one a whirl. If this one smells like the wine that the first one wanted to be. Um, there is... Um, that, that, that slight voluptuous edge that I was getting in the first one, those silky berry and, and plum flavours, again the red berry, uh, red cherry, uh, sometimes those, uh, those fruit flavours, they're fresh, sometimes they're going ever so slightly uh, stewed, not stewed, stewed sounds, uh, sounds like a negative, but uh, yes, yeah, softening slightly. Um, but in terms of the reduction, the first one it says lightly oaked. Uh, ever so very lightly oak. This one's uh, that that ten months. Uh, what's what's happened is the the wines had a chance to do some breathing uh, in those barrels, and um, so it smells. Uh, there's none of that reduction there. Maybe maybe there's a little bit of it coming through uh, to add, but here it adds freshness rather than uh, some awkward toastiness. There's a little bit of smoky bacon character coming through from the oak, uh, but there's this juicy fruit that's uh, that, that's front and center, and. Um, Yes, I mean, it's 2014. We're at the end of 2015 here, so it's less than two years old. It still feels like a wine that whose best is yet to come. Uh, but uh, the fruit is good. The fruit is fresh. Um, it, it has a little bit of uh, allure, a little bit of it factor, rather than just being a simply fruity wine. And um, yes, I would, I would really like to see that with about, uh, I, I, about five years more age. I'd, I'd be very fascinated to see uh, what would happen there. Um, and um, unfortunately, I can't keep the rem remains of this bottle for five, five more years. So maybe I'll give it uh, five hours of resting and uh, come back to it and, uh, and report back and see how, how, whether it's improved or whether it just sits as it is. As it is, it looks pretty good. The first one was okay, but um, work in progress, whereas the second one, more complete. See you soon.